over the years, Baby Nape has kind of suffered by the wayside due to Nigo's brilliance being pulled away from it. And it seems as if over the preceding years, I think as soon as Nigo left, or he got kicked out, Baby Nape had still had a bit of a good run. Like I think it was about, I'm going to say two to four years where they were still putting out consistently good stuff. But then it felt as if as soon as the window was over, it started to go downwards, right? And it, and it made me think that what ended up happening was that when IT absorbed or when that um, a Chinese company absorbed um, Baby Nape into its cockholds, right, or into its organization, a lot of the designers probably couldn't handle working underneath those conditions, right? Maybe it wasn't as relaxed as it was back in the day at the, you know, at the Nowhere Studios, whatever it's called, and they kind of got, you know, a, a bit uh, disenfranchised and decided to leave. And then they've hired all these other people outside of the brand to come and do the do the, the clothing, which has been a complete disaster. If you've seen some of the Adidas clubs they've done, it's been some hot garbage. The Puma stuff was incredibly buff worthy. Just really shitty things, right? Just plastering the camera everywhere. But this sort of stuff is something I think works out really, really well, right? So this is um, uh, a new collection I've just seen pop up on Hypebeast. And it's, it says, the title says the following. Uh, Babe drops a range of um, ABC camo uh do rags and shooting sleeves right for 4 to 19 and if you know anything about baby nape you know the hip-hop roots you know how obsessed nigo was with hip-hop or americana culture in general you know that these do rags really do fall in line exactly with when um, the baby nape used to be and if anything this is probably the best thing i've seen baby nape do in ages this is again this is outside of because they had a good run where they were reissuing loads of staples so they would reissue some of the um down jackets a leather kind of down jacket that a lot of people used to wear back in the day they reissued the snowball jackets they reissued some of the uh boots some of the jeans some of the hoodies so they had a there's a core range even it's highlighted in this book actually there's a core range right of baby Nick products that they always do season in season out which they were kind of reissuing for a while but then they stopped doing it after a period of time and decided to start making you know those dead puma jackets that people were starting to wear because again did who did who did you see wearing those puma babe jackets apart from people that got seeded it honestly they were so garbage no i think i saw aj tracy wearing it once on the video or something and that was it i've not seen anyone in real life wearing it who wasn't seeded it right it's all kind of cd people people that look like they they get free stuff while wearing it but no one actually bought it with their own money like i don't think they would anyway because it's horrendous but these durags are great really awesome um again not sure how much they're gonna be price wise availability at malarkey but just as a look and just from again inspiration wise reference wise they are incredible um would love to see them in different camo colors maybe like in the blue red and all that malarkey and maybe purple that would look flipping sick but again really well done oh this here it is it's in red okay awesome they got it in the dark green they got it in the blue they got in the black see the dark dead colors yeah, I mean, they should have just making the, the staples the purple as well but anyway they got shooting sleeves for people do that play basketball and shit I've never understood what shooting sleeves are for. I guess the same like compression tights for your calves, right? There must be some science towards them, but I never got the whole compression sleeve thing. I think you'd be a bit of a wild to wear compression sleeves not playing basketball, right? It's not really a thing. But then it must be because there's kids, especially American kids, who wear like sweatbands and they're not working out, which is very bizarre. But again, you know, everyone's got their way of doing things. So yeah, um, again, but the, for me, the do-rags are a standout piece. The, that is obviously the that, that kind of sandy color is probably the best colorway, I'd say, for the most part. It's not even on here, is it? Right, yeah. So why is it so much lighter in the picture? Huh. But anyway, um, these drags are amazing. A big fan of them. Hopefully, um, when they come out, I'll have a chance to cop. Not sure if that's going to be possible, though. But um, what date is it due to come out? They've got a date here. Uh, July 8th, supposedly. So they're meant to come out yesterday. Um, so we're going to see. Yeah, so hopefully we'll see those coming out very, very soon. Um Baby Nape do rags for four into nineteen again. Some of the easily the best thing they've done in a while because you know it's been a bit of a hard slog for Bape since Nigo um, was ousted from his company. But so far, it looks like some of the people that are working there have finally figured out how to make it work. <laughs>